Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by using the link down in the description, deposit $100, and get two free shares valued up to $1,400. It's pretty much free money, guys. But in this video, ooh -wee, this is my best month yet when it comes to dividend income. I got paid out by nine different companies. Apple is driving up their price by announcing their 41 stock split. AT&T is finally showing their worth by paying me out their dividends. And the best cleaning company out there, Clorox, has finally given me some consistent dividend income. So I'm gonna dive into my Robinhood account to show you guys which nine different companies pay me dividends this month to have my best month ever. I thought last month was a pretty good month, even with the miscalculations that I had last month. This month is even better than what I had last month. So let's go ahead and dive into my Robinhood account. Welcome back YouTube. Here we are on my Robinhood account. I'm sitting at $27,000. $27,019.94 is what my account is at the moment. Over, I had a pretty good week, but we're worried about the month. Over the last month, I'm up 10.47%. I'm up $2,561.10. Wow. I mean, that is amazing month to have a 10% growth in one month. That is insane, guys. I'm almost at the point to where I'm very close to having a $30,000 account. Considering from if you guys have subscribed to this channel and seen where I came from, on growing this Robinhood account, then you will know $30,000 is an, it's an insane goal of mine and I'm almost there. So if you guys wanna keep up with me, make sure that you scroll down and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and when I hit $30,000 on my Robinhood account. So let's go ahead and dive into which companies paid me out dividends this month and I'm gonna show you a little trick on Robinhood. So make sure that you stick through to the end of this video so you can see how much I got paid out this month. But I'm about to show you this Robinhood little tip trick right quick that I just figured out last month. So here we are on my dividends that I got paid out over the last 30 days. The little tip that I picked up, let's let's say that we're looking at SPHD, right? It's gonna pay me out on August 1st, and then we're gonna scroll up to SPHD right here. It says it's gonna pay me on August 31st. So on Robinhood, it's making it look like SPHD is gonna pay me out twice in the month of August, but that is not true. I found that out last month because on the 31st, it's actually gonna go through on the 1st, and I'll be getting paid out on the 1st of September and not the 31st of August. So we're not gonna count in PEY, that says it's going to pay out on August 31st and we're not going to count in SPHD that says it's going to pay out on August 31st. So we're not going to count those two. That's a little tip that I picked up from last video, but let's go ahead and dive into which companies pay me out this month. All right, so here we are on NRZ. I have 157 shares of NRZ. They pay out 10 cents per share and my total amount that I got paid out is $15.70. Now, NRZ used to have a dividend payment of 14.07%. Now they have a dividend payment of around 5.12%. So they did cut their dividends right when the pandemic happened. And that's why their stock shot down. So if we take a look at NRZ, I now have 170 shares of NRZ with a market value of $1,331. I am down 35%. So hopefully I'm going to keep doubling down on NRZ and while I'm getting around $7, if it ever recovers back up to 16 or even $14, I will be in a profit and I'll still be collecting some sweet dividends from NRZ. If it drops any lower than $6, I'm going to just sell it, cut my losses and invest into a better company. But this is a real estate REIT that had a very high dividend. They cut them as soon as they cut them, NRZ, stock price had dropped. So NRZ is gonna bring my total to $15.70. The next one that pay me out is SPHD, a monthly paying dividend stock. They're gonna pay me out every single month. At the time I own 30 shares of SPHD and they pay out 14, almost 15 cents per share that you own of SPHD. The total amount that I got paid out is $4.50. Taking a look at SPHD over the last month, they are up 1.94%, so not a bad month. 
I am down 14.77%. So we're still waiting for SPSG to recover from the pandemic. And SPSG allocates around 3.94% worth of my portfolio. And they have a dividend yield on Robinhood of 5.45%. So they have a high dividend yield. Hopefully they can recover pretty soon in order for me to be back in a positive from SPHD. Cause I have not been paid out over $180 worth of dividends from them yet pretty close but not yet so i'm going to keep on collecting those dividends from sphd and wait for them to recover and that's going to bring my total after sphd to twenty dollars and twenty cents the next one is at&t tickle symbol t the s p 500 dividend aristocrat i have 13 shares of at&t at the time paying out 52 cents per share this is a quarterly paying dividend stock that means they pay out every three months four times a year uh, the total amount that I got paid out is $6.76. If we take a look at AT&T, they had an amazing growth this month. They're up 2.53% this month, and I am down 7.33%. So over time, I think I got paid out more in dividends than I am down from AT&T being down $36. But hopefully AT&T is going to recover very soon. And I do think I got paid out more than $36 from dividends from AT&T. So I do believe I am up at the moment. AT&T has a dividend yield of 6.90%. So that's going to bring my total profit to $26.96. The next one is AGNC. This is a monthly paying REIT, a monthly paying dividend stock. I had 89 shares at the time. They paid out 12 cents per share. For a total of ten dollars and sixty-eight cents, if we take a look at AGNC, I got in at a pretty good price at fourteen eighteen. So I'm only down three dollars and ninety-seven cents, but I collect over ten dollars every single month from AGNC. So I am up when it comes to dividends. Hopefully, um, Robinhood finds out a way to calculate that in. But they have a dividend yield of twelve point six one percent. A lot of people don't like it because they have a double-digit dividend yield, but I'm only down $3 when it comes to it, and I make over $10 every single month from agency. So I'm going to keep on reinvesting into this company until I eventually reach uh, 100 shares. Right now, I'm at 95 shares. And remember, I only got paid out for owning 89 shares. So next month, I shall have even more money from dividends from agency. And that's going to bring my total profit to $37.64. Ah, you see where it's going? It's getting up there now. It's getting up there. The next one is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. I'm planning on picking up a lot of Apple this month because they're having a four to one split. That means for every one share that you own of Apple, they're gonna divide the price in four and give you four shares for owning that one share. Right now, I don't even own a full share of Apple, so hopefully next month I'll have a couple of shares, but they pay out 82 cents per share, so I receive 38 cents from Apple. If we take a look at Apple over the last month, they're up 33%. So the news alone from them having a four to one split drove Apple price up to $502, up 33%. I don't think Apple came out with any new products yet. Their new iPhone has not been revealed or released yet, but hey, I'm going to pick up a couple of shares after the split. So that is Apple. So that's going to bring my total profit to $38.02. The next one is Tickle Symbol O Realty Income. It is a monthly paying dividend stock. It is a real estate REIT. Uh, I own seven shares. It paid out $0.23 cents per share, and I got paid out $1.64 from Tickle Symbol O. I am down $5.00 and 40 cents from ticker symbol O from realty income so me getting paid dividends from them i'm actually up and they have a dividend yield of 4.47 percent so that's going to bring my total to 39 dollars and 66 cents the next one is clorox ticker symbol clx clorox got the best cleaning products out there trust me i know that myself because of the pandemic i had to clean my whole house so uh clorox uh, Tickle Symbol CLX, they make many different products. They make barbecue products. They make the uh, Kingsford Choco Grill product. They make they make a whole bunch of products. I talked about it in the other video. But I own 2.2 shares. They pay out $1.11 uh, every share you own. They are quarterly paying dividend stocks. So I got paid out $2.49. Over the last month, I think they're down 5%, but I'm still up on Clorox, up 21% up $85.02, and I have a dividend yield of 1.94%. 
So that's gonna bring my total to $42.15. The next one is Viper Energy, ticker symbol VNOM. I'm not sure if I even still hold this or not, but I did get paid out dividends from this. Uh, they pay out three cents per share, so I got paid out 30 cents. Uh, if we take a look, I, I still do own this company. I'm down 24%. I'm not sure why I'm holding on to it. I think it's because it has a 14.57 dividend yield. And it, it was doing okay at first over the last five years, but it had a downtrend the last year. So I'm thinking about getting rid of this. Let me know down in the comment section on if I should get rid of Viper Energy. I'm already on the fence of getting rid of it. So if it's enough comments down there saying, hey, get rid of it, it's out the window and I'll just throw it out there. But I did receive 30 cents from this and that's gonna bring my total to $42.45. And the last one is PSEC, tickle symbol PSEC. I got paid out uh, six cents per share for holding three shares at the time. And my total amount that I got paid out was 18 cents. If we take a look at PSEC, I now own four shares and I'm up $9.46, 86% just from owning this company with an average cost of $2.74. So I should have picked up a whole bunch at $2.74, but I didn't, only picked up four shares. So, you know, in hindsight, I really wish I would have dumped a whole bunch of money into that, but I am up. And this company has a dividend yield of 14.06%. And that's gonna bring my grand total, my grand total to $42.60. Three $42.63, $42.63. That is the most money I've ever made from dividends with a $27,000 portfolio, um, almost to $30,000. So yeah, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, make sure that you hit thumbs up. It really helps out this video a lot. In fact, it helps out this whole channel a lot every time you guys hit a thumbs up button. If you guys wanna keep track of my Wyman Hood challenge, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I invest $200 every single week into my Robinhood account, so around $800 a month. And this month alone, I am able to grow my dividend portfolio to pay me over $42 this month from nine different companies. That is amazing. I never, I didn't even know about stocks a couple of, of years ago, but I just sat down. I really dug into it. I started a YouTube channel just so I could teach myself and have a community of us grow and learn with each other. So I do read every single comment. So make sure that you leave a comment down in the comment section. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.